Hello everyone, welcome to Mini Fingers with Miss Taryn. This week we are going to be making an ocean in a bottle. So you can pick up your kits at the second floor children's desk or through curbside, whichever way you want to receive it. Um, and inside your kit, you'll have a little bag like this, although hopefully you won't have spilled your materials like I did. Um, so a note about that, there is food coloring and watercolor paint in little containers. And as long as they stay upright, they will not leak, I promise. But I tipped mine over in my bag when I came home. <laughs> so I got it all over the place. So, all right. So what you'll do is you'll have your instruction sheet stapled to the outside of the bag. And it'll look like this. It'll say Mini Thinkers Ocean in a Bottle. Um, we'll have a QR code that you can scan that'll take you to this video. So if you pick up your kit, scan this uh, QR code, it'll bring you right here to this video. Um, on the bottom, it'll say what materials are included, and then on the back, it'll give us our instructions. Okay, so first of all, we're going to look at what is included in your bag. All right, so first we have a small water bottle with vegetable oil in it. So you can see it's kind of yellow at the bottom. And then you'll have a container of uh, blue food coloring or watercolor paint. Either way, you don't want to eat it. All right, and then we have green food coloring. And you should have more in yours than I do in mine. It's mine have spilled out. Okay, you'll also have some sequins sprinkled in the bottom, and I've got mine sprinkled on this paper towel, but blue, silver, um, and turquoise sequins. Okay, and you'll also have a little dropper or pipette that you'll use to get the food coloring into the um, bottle. All right, so let's flip it over to our back side, and it'll say additional materials. We have our eyedropper, this thing, which we already have. Um, you, you'll need water for sure. And you may want to use tape, especially if you're giving this to your preschooler, um, because they can screw off the lid and then it gets messy. So you may want to use tape at the end to wrap over the lid, okay? All right, so first of all, you're gonna take the bottle of vegetable oil and you're gonna add the blue food coloring or paint as much as you would like using the dropper, okay? So I'm not gonna put a whole lot in because it is really messy. Okay, so if you're doing this with a preschooler, just, you know, supervise and have some paper towels handy. All right, so I'm squeezing it in there dropping it in there. Whoa, it's a big bubble. All right. Okay, so here you can kind of see there's a few little bubbles of blue in the bottom. Next, we're going to add the green food coloring, and I always get this on my hands. I'm really messy. So if you get it on your hands too, that's totally fine. I'm going to squeeze it in here. It doesn't matter that we're mixing the two different colors. I didn't wash out the pipette in between uses because it's all going in the same place. All right. Okay, so we got that. Next, we're going to add the sequins. And I'm just going to add oops, a few of them. Try not to get food coloring on anything else in here. All right, drop those sequins in there. All right, now you'll add enough water to mostly fill the bottle, okay? So you've got uh, vegetable oil in the bottom and it should be about a fourth to a half full. So you're just gonna add water to the rest of it. Okay, so this is mostly full now. There's a little bit of space at the top, but that's just so you can see it to move around. So now I'm going to close our bottle here and then shake it. So if you if you leave more space in the top, you can kind of see how the layers um, 
how the layers are. Now, one cool thing about using the vegetable oil, and you can see this when you have your own, um, is that it kind of looks like there's sparkles or bubbles in there. So there are bubbles of vegetable oil in the bottom. And right now, the water and the oil are mixed together, but they will separate pretty quickly if you start looking at it. So this, you can use this to talk with your preschooler about the ocean, about what colors are in the ocean, what it looks like, um, what different animals might live in there. So also at the bottom, um, I have a little note about the sensory bottle, ocean bottles. Uh, they can help calm anxiety as well as promote learning and exploring for young children. So you can use this time to discuss with your preschooler what the ocean looks like, what color is it, what does it feel like. Um, so, and encourage your little one to shake the bottle often to discuss what happens, all right? So, that is the ocean sensory bottle for many thinkers. It's a really simple, quick activity. It can be really messy if you see my hands. Um, but this is something that you can pick up at our children's desk um, starting today, Wednesday, and as long as supplies last. All right. I'll see you next time. Thank you.